If you're one of those people that checks the status of their claim every single day, then this tool is exactly what you need. This veteran on Reddit has created a VA claim tracker tool that will tell you much, much more information on where your claim is at, who has it, and much, much more. This Marine will explain the tool as they're the expert. I have their permission to create this video and it's on the website where you get the extension and on YouTube. By the time the page loads, the extension has all the data it needs um, for that particular claim. And we're going to walk through what this looks like um, and what each field means and stuff to look for. So the first thing you're going to notice at the very top is you're going to notice the generic status that the VA provides. Um, these statuses we all know are pretty generic. They don't really tell us much. And most of us will notice that you will sit in evidence gathering for a while. Um, I want to start with, with what the tool tips will provide you um, from the status uh, steps here. So you're going to see uh, completion dates um, whenever that step or status has been completed, as you can see here uh, for each one. Now, if you don't see a complete date, that means that step has not been complete. Now, you might be wondering what this bottom uh, step is down here, or, or bottom steps are. Uh, basically, these are the more um, obscure or hidden steps, or like, or as the VA considers them as phases. And these phases only exist within evidence gathering. Um, so there are four phases within evidence gathering. You have evidence gathering, review of evidence, preparation for decision, and pending decision. Um, so uh, once again, once that phase is complete, you will see a complete date here. Um, the review evidence uh, also has that complete date because it's completed. And we have, uh, we're currently sitting at the preparation for decision, which you also can see here, which is current phase. Um, the next thing I want to go over is the details container here. So within a detailed container, you're going to see a bunch of, uh, metadata attached, uh, to this claim or to your claim, um, that may give you a better insight as to where your claim is currently sitting, um, how long it may take to complete. Um, and just a quick disclaimer for this, this, this estimated completion date is a field that's no longer shown by the VA. Um, I'm not sure uh, what happened, uh, but, or how this is even calculated, um, but this is data that I still uh, chose to show uh, because it is available um, with the page. Um, so as you can see here, this status uh, evidence gathering review decision, again, this is, similar or related to these steps up here, and it shows the same on the page. Um, then you got current phase, which we already went over. The phase change date, phase change date is the last time your um, standard claim was touched. Um, then we also provide the claim type code and end product code. These are codes um, handled or used by the VA in the back end. Um, so I have provided a link, um, direct link uh, to the VA resource to kind of give you a better idea of what these codes mean, um, such that you can make sure your claim is uh, filed and coded correctly. Um, and then we have these other fields such as decision letter sent and development letter sent and such forth. Um, now, another big question that always comes up is jurisdiction. What does jurisdiction mean? And some of you may ha have already heard about uh, national work queue jurisdiction. And basically what that is, is that that's where your claim is currently sitting. Um, if you ever see a temporary jurisdiction here, that means your claim is sitting with um, with an Raider or or VSR being worked on. Um, if it's not, that means that your claim is just simply waiting for a Raider or or a VSR to pick it up. Um, and then claim ID, of course, is the ID for your claim. The next section we have is the claim section. This is a list table um, listing out all the claims that you have uh, filed for and they're easily uh, readily available for you to see. Um, then you have document section or table, um, same as the claims table. Um, you're gonna have all the documents that you and the VA had uploaded, um, and it's gonna show you the newest uh, document to the oldest. Um, if you have multiple documents, uh, such as in this demo, you're gonna be able to uh, paginate or click on the next page 
um, to to see the re the remaining uh, documents or items within any of these tables, uh, as you see here. Uh, so uh, let's keep going down here. Um, internally track items. This is these. This is um, as the name states. This is item. These are items that are tracked by the VA internally, um, but we expose them here for you as well. Now, uh, two other features uh, you'll notice here is the refresh data and clear data buttons. Um, the refresh data button, uh, one, one great way to know that if you're on the right page or not is if this button is disabled or grayed out, that means you're not on the right page and you should go to a specific claim in order to use this. Um, another thing you're gonna notice is your data will persist uh, locally in your browser. Um, it's not being exported or saved or transmitted outside of this app. Um, but it's being saved to the browser and that's that in that way the uh, application can show you the information. Uh, however, um, if you're if you are outside of the va.gov website um, and you notice that the data is still there and you don't want it there, you simply click the clear data button and that will delete all the data uh, from within your browser. OK, um, so that's just a quick overview of a standard claim Now we're going to. Go ahead and go to appeals demo. Um, now, um, if you are on a appeals type um, claim, you're going to notice uh, this this these um, drop downs here. Um, and basically, what these are are these are basically a list of all your appeals that will pop up here um, if you go to any uh, appeals type. So whether that's higher level review, whether that's a uh, Stand, uh, I'm sorry, not a standard claim, but whether that's a higher level review, whether that's a supplemental or whether that is a simple um, appeal, this, this will also show any legacy appeals. So for some of you that have really old appeals, um, that may show here. So we'll show uh, the first item. And this first item is pretty much what it will look like if you had all these fields. Um, the return data may not always have all these fields. So if you're not seeing the same fields that that I'm showing you here, there's nothing to worry about. It's just um, the field was not returned um, in the data. Uh, so start from top to bottom, you're going to see the appeals ID, um, the appeals included with, and this this little thing you notice here that's popping up is called a tool tip. And that's basically giving you more description on that field if it's available. Um, I try my best to be as thorough as, thorough as possible. Uh, with the information provided. Um, this is all information coming from the VA. This isn't anything that I generated on my own. Um, so yeah, so for instance, for this for this field, um, appeals included with claim, that basically just means all the, it's basically a list of the individual IDs uh, that are combined into this claim. Um, the last updated uh, field, uh, self-explanatory, um, is the appeal active. Uh, yes or no. Is the data complete? Now, this field is another important field. Uh, if this ever says no, um, that means that the response that the app had gotten from the page uh, does not have complete data. Uh, for the most part, this should always say yes. Um, and then you have your other fields here. Um, now, advanced on docket. Uh, this field, um, if you if you have a standard claim um, also in progress with uh, an appeal, uh, type uh, and you already filed for like hardship or something like that. From my understanding, that uh, that's going to be different. Um, you you're going to have to go through a different process uh, to uh, file file a hardship with with an appeal. So if you notice that you already filed a hardship with a standard claim, it says no here. Um, you may want to get with your VSO or any of your claim representatives that's helping you. Or you may want to do more research on uh, figuring out how to, or talk with the VA or to see how you can uh, get your claim, your uh, appeal claim prioritized. Um, now, the next section is status. Um, we have a status type, and then we have um, you may you may see this details button. You may not. You may not even see the status uh, section. That just simply means that the data wasn't available. Uh, but yeah, you can click on show details and. It gives you more details again with more tool tips, kind of give you guys an idea of what that field, what these fields mean. And this is coming directly uh, from the VA's uh, API documents. Um, so, yeah, you have an issues um, and these issues related to to the, to the details um, from the status. Um, you may have that, you may not have it. And when you can move down to dockets, so you have your docket type. Um, 
in all these other fields uh, that's related. Um, you can see um, the total um, items within a docket, uh, all dockets. I'm guessing, from my understanding, this is all the items that's sitting with appeals courts. Um, and then I believe this ahead field is how many um, dockets are ahead of you. Um, but don't quote me on that. I could be wrong. You might have to do more research. Um, but we also have a show ETA section that may be available. It may not. Again, if you don't see these fields, it simply means that it wasn't provided uh, by the page. Um, so you have your direct uh, review, evidence submission, and hearing uh, sections here. Then scrolling down more, you have the issues table. Um, these are all the issues that are relates to this appeal or supplemental or higher level review. Um, and it has metadata such as diagnostic codes, um, is it active or not, and then it may have a last action and date associated with it. Uh, next, we have our alerts. Um, in the alerts, um, again, uh, some of these section headers or tables also have metadata attached uh, describing what the, what the table is. So it's simply a notification of requests for more information um, of a change in the appeal status. Uh, so that's what that means. Um, then you have your evidence section. Um, I'm sorry, not evidence, event section. And then you have your evidence section here. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, all, all appeal types will have this same format, just uh, relevant information pertaining to, to that appeal type. Um, so um, lastly, I um, have to provide this disclaimer. The um, VA Claim Tracker is, is licensed under the CCBNC. Uh, uh, licensing. It has no affiliation with the VA uh, or its entities, and it's completely free to use. Um, there is no data being tracked. Um, matter of fact, you can go to your my term and claims uh, terms and conditions uh, section here. Uh, we do not um, employ the use of cookies uh, or any kind of data collection. Nothing leaves uh, this extension events. Um, so uh, if you guys have any further questions, feel free, uh, please feel free to uh, drop me your email um, using the email that's attached to, uh, to this extension at the bottom of the page. Um, and thanks again, uh, and good luck on your claim filing process. And one last thing I do want to add, um, you do not have to do this, but uh, if you found this uh, app useful or the extension, extension useful, uh, useful and you want uh, to support the extension, please feel free to click the support um, app button here. Uh, I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, and thanks again.